What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers Report. And before we get straight into the video, I wanna say, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel because I post Texas Rangers content three times a week on here. And there's not a lot of other people on YouTube that do that. So yeah, hit the subscribe button right now. So the topic of today's video is a Rugnet Odor trade rumor. So um, as Rangers fans, we all want him off the team. He He's underperformed terribly for the contract that he was given. He has two years left on his deal for $12 million a piece. And he has a club option for 2023, which I doubt will get picked up. And going into the offseason, it's like nobody would ever want to trade with the Rangers for Odor. Although we kind of thought that same thing with Elvis. However, we got um, a Chris Davis deal done. However, there's some teams... They're in other phases of their franchise than the Rangers are. So I think a deal could get done. The deal that I'll be proposing is with the New York Mets. I do think other deals could work like with the LA Dodgers and maybe David Price or Kenley Jansen or with the Chicago Cubs and Craig Kimbrell. But I think the Mets makes the most sense for both parties. So in a Rugnet Odor trade to the Mets, the Rangers will receive Dylan Batances, who's getting paid $6 million this year, and he has a vested option for 2022. And then the Rangers would also receive Jarius Familia, who's getting paid a, roughly $11 million. And the Rangers would also receive Mets prospect Wander Suarez. I think he's ranked like 27th in their farm system, but I'll look that up and put that on the screen right now. The Rangers would obviously be sending Rugnet Odor and $6 million in return. So this is kind of a mixture of the Jason Barr deal back in 2017 and a mixture of the Elvis Andrews deal. Because in the Jason Barr deal, we took on two um, kind of expensive players that the Giants had um, in order for there to be financial flexibility. And with the Mets, they obviously want to sign more players. They want to make a big move. Uh, it's been rumored they're going after Taehwan Walker and Chris Bryant. So if they want to make those moves, they're going to have to um, make some money unless they want to go over the luxury tax. So if you equal it out, Batances and Familia, that roughly equals around 17 to $18 million um, for this year. They'll be free agents after this year. And then if you add in Odor's contract, that's $12 million for um, this year. So that obviously saves them about $6 million for this year. So they could go in and sign a Tay Juan Walker. But then where the Rangers um, kick in that $6 million is so they can get that prospect in Juan de Suarez. I think this trade would be good for the Rangers and the Mets because the Rangers, uh, we get a prospect, we get some relief pitchers. They aren't good um, at this stage in their career. They both are coming off bad years. However, they've proven to be good in the past. So you never know if the Rangers... Um, could get solid seasons out of them, they could trade them for more prospects at the deadline since they both only have one year left on their contracts. And if this trade were to happen, we would need to create a 40-man roster spot. And I think the Rangers could easily designate Jimmy Hargett for assignment. It doesn't seem that the Rangers are too committed to him as they designated him before. And so that would create a roster spot. But if the Rangers want to get Jimmy Hargett back after they designate him, they could hopefully he passes waivers and then they can just outright him to AAA or, and then, then invite him to spring training and then um, you have him back. But yeah, I like this deal. Um, I don't know if the Rangers will actually make this deal. Probably not. But yeah, I, I think it's a mixture. The Elvis trade because we're kicking in that money to get a prospect. And then like in the Jason Barr trade, we took on um, two bad contracts to um, get the team some good financial flexibility. Obviously, we got a prospect in return. As for the prospect we get in return in Juan de Suarez, he is in extremely intriguing. I mean, he's not one of the Mets top prospects, but he's only 20 years old. He has a, an extremely projectable frame at six foot three, 180 pounds. Um, according to MLB.com, his fastball is ranked at 55, and that's above average. So a 50s average and anything below that's below average and anything above is above average, of course. His curveball is a 45. Um, change of 55, controls of 50. I mean, he's only 20, uh, um, 6'3", 180 pounds. So there's definitely room to grow some muscle, um, get some more strength on that body, and just 
become an overall better pitcher. And with this trade, the Rangers can finally move on from the players of the past, like the Elvis Andrews's, the Runet Odors. I mean, we still have Joey Gallo, which is definitely fine by me. He's my favorite player. And I mean, we have him because he's good. Um, a lot of people have been saying, oh, the Rangers are fire selling because, so they're going to trade Gallo next. But let's be honest, um, Elvis Andrews and Rugnet Odor are bad players. Um, so we're just trying to do a bad contract for bad contract deal in order to improve this organization. So I want to hear what you guys have to say on a Rugnet Odor trade to the Mets. Obviously, this is just my opinion, me guessing what a trade would look like. I've done previous trades for Odor on the channel, like to the Cardinals and to the Red Sox. So you never know. He could get traded, he could not, um, or he could just get designated for assignment. Because ultimately, I don't think Odor will be on the Rangers roster as he's not versatile. And you don't want to be using up a bench spot for somebody that only plays second base. So let me hear what you guys have to say. What do you think is going to happen with Odor? Do you like this trade um, to the Mets? Or if it's not to the Mets, where do you think Odor will get traded? And the last thing I want to talk about, since spring training is coming up, I'm going to try to start live streaming on Saturdays, um, whether there's a game or, or not. So if there's a game, we can just talk about what's going on in the game. However, say the Rangers have an off day, we can just um, talk Rangers baseball for like an hour or so. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.